Alex here, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're ready for this one. It's gonna be a killer, conditioning, intense, hit workout. So I hope you're ready. You don't need any equipment. However, there is one exercise where you could use a pair of dumbbells, as I will be. But if you don't have dumbbells, don't worry. I'll show you how you can. But if you do, then bring them in. You only need something light, trust me. And actually, what I'm gonna do is track this workout in the Whoop app using this fitness wearable here on my wrist. So at the end, I can check in with you and show you the calorie burn for the workout, also my heart rate, my peak heart rate. So at the end, we'll take a look at that. But are you ready? Let's get started in a very important warm up. 30 seconds each exercise, starting jogging on the spot. Take nice deep breaths, relax your shoulders, nice soft landing. Let's take a few minutes to make sure our body is warm, our joints are mobilized, ready for this intense hit workout. So we're gonna go for 60 seconds work. This is all about endurance, conditioning, and just 10 seconds rest between exercises. So it's about finding your ability to endure and keep going at your pace. Let's take it into a standing knee hug. One knee at a time, focusing on that stability and balance on one leg, whilst also stretching through the hips. Switch in your own time. Work on that balance. Toes and heels gripped onto the floor. Let's take it down into a hip flexor to hamstring. So drop your weight forwards, reach up, lengthen through the hips. When you're ready, sit back, lengthen through the hamstring. And in your own time, from one position to the other. Okay, and switch leg, same thing, other side. Reach up, open up the hips, lengthen, sit back and open up the hamstring and through your back. Okay, come to all fours, hands underneath your shoulders, up onto your toes, and lift the knees off the floor. Engage your core, flatten your back, and from here, touch your opposite knee and back. Opposite knee and back. Try not to move anything, and keep your knees low. Warming up the shoulders, the core, Okay, back up you come, let's finish into the jog on the spot. Again, to finish up, 30 more seconds. You can pick up the pace a little bit. We're about to begin in this tough circuit of exercises. Okay, we're gonna start with, well, it's a devil's press if you have dumbbells. If not, we're gonna do a standard burp, okay? Keep jogging whilst I explain. Three, two, one, and rest. So if you don't have any dumbbells, take it into a burpee. If you have dumbbells, take it into a devil's press, which is dumbbells down, down you go, leg between the dumbbells, jump it up, drop under the body, and above your head, okay? Get ready for 60 seconds of that exercise in your own pace, in your own intensity. In three, two, one, let's go. Your level, drop down, jump it up, dumbbells under the body, and drive up above your head. Control down under the body, and repeat. Seconds left, 
Keep going. Find that momentum and rhythm to keep working for 60 seconds. Three. Rest there. Very quick rest for 10 seconds before we take it into a nice skater. So, very tough on the legs, the hips, the core, and the cardio. Stepping, jumping from side to side. Balance, nice and soft. Suspension and jump. If you need to warm up a little bit more, then you can step. You can step at any point, working those hips and glutes. That is fine. You can go between the two versions, depending on which level you're at. Seconds left, keep it going. And shake it off, well done. Come down to the ground, start working that core and upper body in a push up mountain climber. One push up. Mountain climb. Let's go. Push up, slow, strong, up. One knee, other knee, and repeat. If you need, drop the knee for the push up, pop the knees up, and then mountain climber. Up to you. We've got plenty of sets of 60 seconds for you to get fatigued and tired and need those knees down. That is fine. Twenty seconds left. All the time, the focus is good quality technique. Before you up the speed or intensity, the technique is bang on. And rest. Well done. Up you come. Back up into the legs. We're going to take it to a squat to squat jump. One squat, one squat jump, rest, one squat, one squat jump, we're in, in your own time, one squat, one squat jump, find your pace and rhythm, if you need to focus on just squats, that is fine, your level, let's go. and endurance and conditioning in that lower body. 15 seconds. And rest for 10. Well done. Let's take it into the final exercise before your rest, okay? Into a plank hold for three, two, one, jump up for burpee. Back into plank, three, two, one. In your own time, a three second plank and one burpee. Always keep a good quality technique and safety in your core and spine. Make sure your plank is here, strong, stomach in, legs squeezed, no hips down here, strong.
five seconds. Well done. One minute rest. Breathe, recover. Use this one minute to keep hydrated if you need. Get your breath back, how quickly can you recover so that you can push those sets nice and hard. You now know what's coming. I'm just gonna repeat that for sets, okay? No changes unless you need to make anything easier or harder, that's fine. Breathe and recover. Fifteen seconds left. So, if you have dumbbells, hopefully you're getting the rhythm of that first exercise. Otherwise, go to that full burpee if you need. In three, two, one. Let's go. seconds. Now you know what work we need to put in. So find the place in your mind, find the pace and the momentum for you to do the work. Now you have the option of 
those that are strong is a squat, squat jump, squat, squat jump without that balancing landing there in between. Up to you. That's when the car is starting. does increase the burn squat to squat jump without rest for 10 seconds and rest well done three second plank and a burpee push it before your 60 second rest Plank, three, two, one, jump, jump, three, two, one. You have the options at any point. Slow it down, walk the steps. Stay in plank a little bit longer if you need to. Find your version and push yourself, that's all that matters. Don't have to keep up with me or anyone else. This is your fitness journey. seconds rest enjoy your 60 seconds take a nice deep breath you will surprise yourself if you keep coming back to these workouts how much you can improve don't worry about anybody else don't worry about me notice where you are and notice after your consistency how much progress you make it's an incredible feeling and it's what it's all about okay well, I need to get my recovery on I'll see you in 30 seconds Focus on your breathing. 
Deep breaths in through the nose, fuel your body. This is not a 20 second set where you can just smash out without catching breath. This is cardiovascular fitness now. Five, four, well done. Epic work. If you're still here, whatever you're doing, you are still here. So let's do it. Push up, mountain climb. Let's go. quality is good. I do not want to see hunching shoulders, rubbish reps up here. If you need to slow it down with your knees down to get good depth and control, then do so. section, squat, squat jump, whatever version. You have option one, squat, it's fine. Option two, of one squat, one squat jump, land and repeat. One squat, one squat jump, land and repeat. Or continuous, squat, squat jump, squat, squat jump. What have you got? Let's go. Let's see how hard we can work 
get some incredible results. Are you ready? Final set, devil's press in three, or burpee, in one. Here we go. This is it, 60 seconds to the end of the workout, no finisher, 
This is the finisher. Here we go. Three, two, one. Pop it up. Jump, soft, core, on. Three, two, one. Keep going. If you need your heart rate to recover, stay here for five, four, three, two, one, and again, up to you. Halfway, 30 seconds to the end of the workout. This is it, come to plank with me. Come to plank for four, three, two, one, and rest. Collapse, breathe, recover. That is workout complete. Take a deep breath, get some water. Let's take it through a couple of minutes of cool down. Well done, I just want to congratulate you for making it here at the end of the workout. I really hope you haven't skipped forwards without getting the sweat on with me. Let's start in a pigeon stretch for the glutes. 30 seconds each, one leg up under the body, one leg away. You can sit up tall here, or if you like, slowly come down onto your forearms. <clears throat> Focus on your breathing. Up you come, over to the other side. Same on the other side. Now your heart rate and breathing rate is on its way down. We really, really work the whole body in a strength way. So this cool down and stretching can help release that tension, improve your DOMS, or improve your recovery so DOMS aren't quite bad, and increase a bit of flexibility as well, releasing that acid. Just follow what feels good, no pain. Let's now do two hip flexor stretches. Bring one leg up, just like we did in the warm up, but without the hamstring. Drop forwards, reach up if you want, lengthen through that front line of the body, hip flexor and quad, squeeze this back uh, glute to open up the front of the hips. By the time the cool down ends, I want you to have your breathing rate back, your heart rate down. Switch to the other side for the final 30 seconds, which is important because I want you to segment this moment in your day, wherever it is, and take a moment of achievement, of congratulations to yourself rather than just jumping over to the next thing in your life. Just take this quick moment to relax and smile in your sweat as I am. Okay, and three, two, one, relax there. So guys, checking in on the Whoop app data and calorie burn in 30 minute workout, 352, average heart rate of 143, maximum heart rate of 173, pushed myself quite hard, and you can see at the top paragraph, building aerobic capacity and strength. You spend 13 minutes at 80 to 90% of your max heart rate. So, I don't, what exercise do you think that was? <laughs> Comment below what you think. And if you would like this kind of data inside your workout routine, then make sure you take a look at, whoop, follow the links underneath, and I can get you 30 pounds off, uh, basically your first month off, by clicking the links underneath. Okay, thank you so much for joining me in this workout. It was actually a workout directly from my CrocFit fitness app um, from the Home Fit 4 training program. Those of you in my app, you know this kind of workout. All right, thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, 
and I'll see you in the next one next time. Bye-bye.